Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jamie and I do lifestyle videos and videos on sonography, my sonography career. I can't talk today. Um, if you're not new here and you've been here for a while, thank you for watching, but please go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, so that way you don't miss another, another video. Anyways, in today's video, um, I'm going to be talking about the five tips to becoming a successful sonographer, or at least the five tips that I think will help. So let's hop on to this video. Number one, always continue educating yourself. There are plenty of websites out there for sonographers to get their continuing education um, credits and also to continue learning and to staying up to date on all the ultrasound world. Um, and I have a few right here. One is, let's see, ARDMS, uh, fetalmedicine.org, the SVU, uh, AIUM, sonoworld.com, sonosite.com, and the list just goes on. Um, there's plenty out there that you can always learn and they also give you um, those credits that you need to, in order to maintain your licensing. So, um, like I said, at some point in your career, you will come across some form of pathology or something that you may never seen before. And the more educated you are, the better chances you have of, oh, that might be this. I hope you catch what I'm, where I'm getting with this. But yes, the more educated you are, the more likely when you come across that odd pathology that you will know or have an idea of what you're looking at in order to further investigate. And also, like I just mentioned a while ago, as a sonographer, in order to maintain your licensing, you have to do your credits um, to your continuing education. So the more CMEs you get, um, you're staying on it going through these websites and continue learning, the more CME credits you get. So you got to stay on top of that. Uh, number two, don't be afraid to talk to the doctors or the radiologists about the images that you are showing them. The reason I say this is, yes, you're going to have come across your radiologists and your doctors who don't want to really talk too much. Um, but for the most part, most of your doctors and radiologists are always willing to help you, um, become a better sonographer by talking to you about your images, how you can fix them, um, and what pathology you're looking at or they think that you're looking at or how, what kind of diagnosis they're gonna go with. So don't be afraid to talk to your doctors. The doctors are there for you. Um, they're there for the patients, but they're also there to help uh, better you in a sense. But you gotta be willing to ask because the doctor's not just gonna come to you and be like, hey, let's fix this. They're not gonna do that. If they're gonna come to you, they're more likely gonna be griping at you because you did something wrong or you missed something. So don't be afraid to ask the doctors. They're more willing to help you if you're willing to help you. Um, number three, don't be afraid to scan. Now this doesn't apply to your the seasoned sonographers. This applies to the new sonographers or the ones that are just out of school um, going through training. I've got, I've seen it time and time again that um, somebody new is just scared to scan because they don't want to miss it or they don't want to be embarrassed or whatnot. But I'm telling you what, when you, when a preceptor asks you if you want to scan and you say no, it makes us think, um, A, you're lazy, B, you're just not, you just don't want to be there and probably not coachable. So it just kind of, it's just kind of puts a bad look on you. So, um, like I said, if, if they ask you if you want to scan, even if you don't know what you're doing, jump in it. They're willing to help the same way. Like I said about the doctors, sonographers are willing to help you if you're willing to help yourself and educate yourself and learn more and actually put in the work to becoming a better sonographer. Uh, let's see. Number four, think outside the box. If you have tunnel vision, when you're looking at um, your images, when you're scanning and you're only just trying to get that great picture, okay, you could miss so much. I mean, we've all been out of school. I've been there to where I'm trying to get the perfect kidney. Uh, I'm trying to get the perfect liver picture. And in the process of having that tunnel vision and only focusing on what my picture looks like, I, I could possibly miss some shadowing, um, uh, a cystic 
mass or you know i could miss anything if i'm not paying attention and thinking outside the box because your screen is like this big and then the you're putting your image your organ or whatever in the middle part of the screen you're just focusing on that but you're missing everything around it because you're so tunnel vision and focused on getting that beautiful picture so definitely think outside the box and don't have tunnel vision and let's see number five which is last but not least in any way is always talk to your fellow sonographers. I see it every day. I do it every day. If I find something or if, let's say I'm going to the room and I can't get my picture to be less grainy. I can't get my picture to be smooth. I'll come out. I'll say, Hey, on this machine, is it just like that? Or is there a way that I, I can adjust my settings to make it a better picture so that I can see more um, in the far field or the near field? Or, hey, what does this look like to you? For instance, the other day we had a, I had a patient who had, you know, um, the right side, of, the fetal right side of the heart was enlarged and it looked like coarctation, but it, in fact, it, I mean, it was, but like, in fact, like I wouldn't have known that had I not went and asked because I'm, like I said, I'm new to the field, so I'm still learning, but I'm willing to ask and I'm learning. So same, like I, I say, I think I say this, I speak for everyone when I say this, um, is that your fellow sonographers are more willing to help you if you, if you're willing to help yourself. So don't be afraid to ask questions, shoot ideas around. We all are in this together. Um, and we're all in it for the main, the same reasons, which is to help the patient. So we're willing to help. So I hope this video, uh, was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to the next video. Have a great day guys.